Um, it helps with the whole shit. Shit. Shit is dire. There we go, there we go. We got one. Run away. Come on, burn him. There's another one down. All right, we survived. There we go. Let that rock. Helps with co-op tremendously. Okay, I almost died there several times. That was rough. That was rough. And two. Really gotta worry about my uh, resource management there, because I kind of burned all my shit at once, jumped into a shitty situation, and then kind of had to deal with it. Which is not how you play this game on hardcore. That is a very easy way to just get yourself completely murdered. There we go. Right, so that clearly wasn't the way. We need to rush our asses through here. Here's the way. So, we're going to have a weird deja vu video game moment here shortly because shortly ahead of us here is where we actually rescue Cormac, the Templar we're using as a follower in the story mode. And we currently have him. So they're not going to send him away. So we're going to be rescuing Cormac while using Cormac to help us rescue Cormac. Also, Cormac's a stupid name. In fact, they even make fun of it in the uh, the, or the challenge you get for completing all of his side quest stuff. Um, they actually call him Cormac and Cheese. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> Super stupid, I know, but funny nonetheless. All right, you gotta burn through it. Burn through everyone. Burn the non-believers. Burn them. Burn them with our cold, hot death fire. Oh man, so there's a couple of them. Oh, there's a lot of shit going down. Grab it. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't got shit. Oh man, my hatred replenishes so fast with that passive buff I have equipped. There we go. Crusaders had learned all they Yay, we can learn about Crusaders. Out into the world, seeking a way to cleanse the corruption that coiled at the heart of the Zakarum faith. There was no clear goal for them to pursue, and some clerics claimed it was a fool's errand that they could never succeed. But these Crusaders would not be there. Yeah, Crusaders are just... The Crusader's kind of actually a really bland character. It's a really good addition to the roster, but... I mean, the character's just like this kind of boring, level-headed dude. He doesn't really say anything interesting. Granted, he's always down for a fight because whenever he's talk, he, he talks mad shit to uh, he talks mad shit to, to any bosses he may have to talk to. Um, he talks mad shit to angels. <laughs> he's like, "Bring it, bitch!" The whole time they're like, oh, "I'm the angel of valor, and I kill everybody." Blah 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 blah. And I'm immortal. Blah blah. Actually, I don't think the angels are immortal. I think they're like alpha immortal, where they don't die, but if they get killed, they're dead. Hey, I found the entrance-exit the entrance exit thing. We're going to head that way. That. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, burn through him. There were champions in there. Oh, perfect. That's fine. Yeah. Just fear me. Some enemies, these enemies are nightmares, which makes you move when they hit you because you run away in fear, um, which isn't the strongest buff, but if you, if you have a character that's based around standing still or based on standing in a certain area, they can basically fear you into places you don't want to be. Uh, fear you into damage fields, uh, and basically break your damage concentration by fearing you. Like the, the the demon hunter that I'm playing as has 
skills that make you do more damage if you're standing still. Like this. Um, so if they fear you, you lose whatever bonuses those were and you have to stack them again. So it's, it's another cool little thing they added to change up the gameplay and make things interesting. Murder them. Murder them with fire. Well, they do dumb Resident Evil 4 bullshit. Coquetlo, coquetlo, coquetlo. What a good game that is, by the way. Still, all these years later, just a fucking treasure. This character had more AOE stuff to start with, because I really I, I like playing as an AOE character. Okay, so there I am with Cormac, and there's Cormac. You will know soon enough. I'm right here. Is this the Matrix? Are we in the Matrix? Yes, everything transfers over. Oh, you're leaving? Fine. Bye. Tony's leaving the stream. Bye, Tony. Tony's also my mod. Tony's there to ban people from the chat. Hopefully he doesn't ban everybody. You're not supposed to be antisocial in social situations, Tony. You're not supposed to do it. So don't do it. Don't be that guy. Alright. I will know soon. Down this way. He's free! Do not let him reopen! Bam! I am Cormac, warrior of the Templar Order. Oh no, an enemy! If the skeleton king you seek, then you will have to fight your way past John Dar. There is no reason you should hunt alone. I often prefer to be alone, but I will make an exception for you. Evil Damn girl, you want that D. One Templar. Two will bring it Yay. to its knees. Burn him! Oh, I'm having trouble! Oh, I'm having trouble! Oh, Jesus, I'm having trouble, actually. I gotta get rid of these guys quick. It's the minions that are causing trouble because they have tons of health. And even if they're not doing anything, they're still making it difficult for me to get around. You gotta, I gotta let the chill field proc, and then I gotta get out of it, which is a good use for vault again. But it's still... It's still rough. Come on, kill him! Kill him with fire! Kill him with explosion! I love that vault. That is such a, a good, useful move. Hey, I got better gloves. Boop. It's always kind of melancholy having to replace a under, like, a, a legendary from so many levels ago with, you know, some, like, a, a rare or a magical. Just because it's like, oh, well, I'm not using this awesome legendary anymore, but I guess it's it's still helping. You know, I'm still I'm still increasing my stats and becoming more powerful, but I got to get rid of this awesome thing I've been using. And granted, you don't have to get rid of it; you can always save it in your stash. Uh, that transfers across characters, so you can use it with other characters. But sometimes the stat bonuses just don't transfer as well as they should have, and they change they they do things to fix that in this game um, where you get a mystic in the fifth act who can actually um, enchant gear and change uh, stats around It's it works semi-randomly but you can choose the amount of randomness basically like you roll new stats you can pick um, yeah you roll new stats you can pick I've got two Cormans fighting um and if you, if you don't like what you get, you can always re-roll. And you can always re-roll. It just costs money. So the, the only limit to how many times you can enchant something and really customize a piece of gear is the amount of money you have, which you can always get more by, 
you know, playing through the game more and killing more monsters and selling more stuff. Which is another really cool thing about the adventure mode is you get so much money and stuff, it really helps you kind of customize other characters that you're bringing up while you play. And I'm really kind of having not trouble at this point, but I mean, these enemies are taking significantly longer to kill. And again, they're also coming in larger numbers. Also, I'm not keeping my Nephilim stack up, which helps tremendously, actually. See, this this evil thing is there, and only the Templar can destroy it. And that's cool, but it's the only time it's used, so it's like, why why even include it? Give, I mean, there's got to be a better reason you can give for why you can't get through there. Except for something that only John Dark can. In fact, you know what? This game would have been improved even more if they changed it. Go grab that. If they changed it around so that you actually needed certain um, followers to get through certain areas. I mean, that would have been cool. That would have been a really cool um, addition to the game. And I mean, make it ancillary stuff. Don't make it, you know, mission critical. Uh, things like don't make it you can only beat given. you know this end of act boss oh he stabbed the shit out of him don't make it you can only beat this end of act boss if uh, uh, you have this guy with you because then I mean if you have to get rid of your tank and your glass cannon you're gonna get your ass handed to you because enemies are just gonna start hitting you more but you know ancillary stuff that would be cool then onwards we go to fight the Skeleton King. She's like, I don't read, asshole. Yeah, that's the only time they ever use those those things. You'll never see that again. Ever in this game. Pretty sure this would be the right way to go. I love the speed boost increases you get in this game. One of the... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? One of the Paragon bonuses you get uh, allows you to increase your movement speed up to a certain percentage by the time you level it up all the way, and that's just really cool. That they're like, okay, we know you're going to want to speed run through all these rifts and all these bounties that you get in the adventure mode. So here's the Paragon thing that won't really make you better, but it'll make you faster, which will allow you to get through stuff faster. Which, you know, in the end, increases your ability to get points because the faster you can get through it, the more you can do in one, you know, gaming session. Pretty cool. I tried to count how many we'd kill, but I've lost track. I don't think people in this era, what is this, the 1600s, could really count too well. Alright, we're just going to sprint. Not sprint through, I mean, we're going to fight people that are in our way, but we're not going to go out of our way to fight enemies that aren't in our critical path here. Then again, if we get lost and miss the critical path, we're still going to have to fight our way through stuff, but whatever. Beep, boop. This is not the critical path. There's an enemy spawner right here. A tomb Guardian! Doom Guardian Leviosa. Yes, I did just make a Harry Potter reference. Fucking kill me. Alright, what do we got? Nothing new for Vault. Multi-shot. Fires a massive volley of arrows in an arc. That's cool sounding. Nothing more for the bolas. <laughs> E-bolas. Ha 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 ha. Grenade. The grenade ones are cool when you get the... Um... Actually, the grenade ones aren't cool. It's the rapid fire you get that starts firing rockets. You get a, you get a rocket launcher as this as this character class. Oh wow, that's just a straight up shotgun blast, kind of push people back. That's a cool pushback thing. Do a lot of damage to enemies up close and still spread out or fan out damage to enemies stuck behind you. I like that. I'll take it. Go. Let's see. Let's try. 
try up to the north here. 